Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a review of this little mini glittery lipstick. So it's this brand called Beauty Boulevard and they have come out with their lip kit called Glitter Lips. And basically it is one of those, you know, very high shine glittery lips. But what really happens when you have, you know, a glitter lips, you need to be really careful when you drink and when you eat because it will transfer. And what Beauty Boulevard uh, with their glitter lips, what they claim to do is uh, that these glitter will never transfer. That's a huge claim. Let me just read out exactly what is there in the back of the box. It says, for easy step to glitter lips, ensure lips are nice, dry and clean. Keeping lips parted, apply the gloss, allow gloss to turn clear. Apply at one lip at a time. It says, generously apply glitter to the lips using the applicator pad, ensuring an even coverage. Lightly dampen the pad to, you know, just take off the glitter and dust off any excess. There is this program in the UK called the Dragon's Den. What happens is there are four or five billionaires who sit there who are entrepreneurs and who are business women and men who have made it in life and they usually give a chance to you know upcoming entrepreneurs uh, by you know funding them for whatever that they come out with any innovative idea that they have come out with they usually back it up by funding and it's a competition not like a competition but they have to convince them on why they need a backing from these millionaires and these two girls who you know came out with this product was one of the contestants for the dragon's den now this is launched over here in the uk you can get it from their website which i shall link in the info bar or you can get it in Superdrug, you know online basically and i really wanted to give this a try and see whether whatever that they claimed uh you know in the program which is a high shine glittery lips for you know your festivals or for uh, you know for Christmas or whatever is your function and you want that really high shine glitter lips they said that this will help you achieve that and at the same time this will last all day this is what the packaging looks like and what I got is cherry pie what I saw on the website there are about um, eight shades I think it varies from you know the light shimmery pinky colors or there's even those nude colors there's a red that is every time I check out for the red it is sold out I hope they come out with the red because imagine a red glittery lips that will last all night that will look really good I'm telling you all this you can do it yourself I know you can just put a liquid lipstick and before the liquid lipstick dries take your glitter and just you know put it dab it all over your lips and let it dry with the liquid lipstick and you have a glitter lips but like I said, it does transfer. I want to see, because of the claim being quite high, I want to see if it works. Right now, I have a lipstick, which is my current favorite, guys. This is the Makeup Revolution Retro Luxe Matte Lip Kit. This is in the color Nobel. I have finally found my perfect nude lipstick, and it is so comfortable to wear. It is... It is supposed to be the dupe for the Kylie Jenner lip kit. I've done a whole review on that. The one that I've shown is um, Regal. That was the color that I showed in my video when I was trying to do a swatch test and a review test. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to you know, apply that because they said it has to be on a clean lip. Uh, I'm going to scrub my lips so that you know it'll, application of anything on my lips will be easy. You open the packet and I think this is the glue that you get this is the small little sponge applicator like you know how you get in the eyeshadow box look at that glitter such a beautiful color before I start off I'm just going to apply a generous amount of powder around my lips so that it catches any glitter you can do that even in your DIY keeping lips parted apply the gloss okay so I'm applying the gloss I'm not a fan of the smell of this it it smells like you know like having super glue on it I'm gonna let that dry okay I can already feel it really sticky I'm scared like it's really sticky I think it is clear enough now I'm going to open this glitter and I'm going to take this tip applicator set to wet it right so I'm going to spray a little bit of the fixing mist on it
Okay, so I've done my maximum effort to like cover everything up. Now I am just going to brush off whatever is the excess. And it's actually very beautiful. I wanted to mention the right way of applying this is one lip at a time so you take the gloss you put it on the upper lip and you make sure it dries wet the brush first with any of your setting spray or just plain water and just slowly pat on the glitter on your upper lip once you complete the upper lip you go to the lower lip I did the big mistake of you know doing it both at the same time so it just became really sticky and I was not able to maneuver okay so i am in my bathroom because the lighting is much more better out here but can you see how beautiful this glitter lip is really really beautiful i mean it's better than the pat mcgrath for sure very drying this is that perfect glittery lips if you want to wear it for valentine's day this is just the perfect color perfect texture let's see if it sustains on my lips Okay, not much transfer, quite impressive. Let's see if it is long lasting. So it's about 2 p.m. I'm going to drink my tea. I'm gonna have something to eat. So I am happy with the way it looks right now. It has dried down. Like I said, there is that it is glitter, so it'll be dry. So I'll clock in after two hours and I'll let you guys know what I think about this. Yeah, two hours should be good enough. So guys, it's around 4.30 and I thought it is a good enough time to see if a glitter lip sticks. Uh, it had come out a little more. I mean, when I ate something, I, you know, you can see in the inner corner out here and you can see that the glitter is like coming off on the side. But look at the cup of tea that I've been drinking. Absolutely nothing. Nothing on the tea as well it's got a great sustaining power so let's talk about the positive the positive is it's a beautifully pigmented glitter you don't need a liquid lipstick to go underneath that because the glitter itself is so pigmented look at it it's that perfect lips for your special occasion if you want to you know just amp it up a little bit and you want to wear you don't want to wear you know your matte lipsticks and you want to just go simple everywhere else but you want that lips to just shine then this is the one for you because it doesn't transfer that's another plus point so all that said and done I mean it's not as drying as I thought it would I mean it's quite comfortable on the lips right now so those are my positives my negative is it's about 12 pounds I mean I'm sure if it's in the US it might be cheaper or more I'm not sure but it's about 12 pounds over here and for 12 pounds it is quite less an amount that you're getting you would get you know for five pounds a NYX full pot of glitter which I shall insert the picture right now and you can do the same thing the only thing I feel that you're paying for is the fact that it just doesn't transfer and that's the best thing about glitter is that it has a high shine intensity to this glitter it's much like I said much better than the Pat McGrath one and I I feel like this shines much more than the Pat McGrath uh, glitter lips you know when the light hits it it is it is absolutely insane um, I love the way that it looks I'm giving this product a good 7 out of 10 only because of the color and the pigmentation. It lost out on being a complete full marks for me only because of the price and with the, the quantity that you're getting for the price. So what do you guys think? Are you going to buy it? Are you going to try this one out? Do let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section. Do subscribe to my channel and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Until later, mwah, bye for now.